Hello, vlog. <laughs> um, so today is Valent Galentine's. Galentine's brunch. T oh my God, this memory card's full. Hold on. Hello, guys. We are in the car. We just pulled up to my Galentine's Day event. Woo. This is my first ever Galentine's Day and I'm really excited for it. I wanted to do this event for creators that I don't know very well, some up and coming, a lot are established and I just don't know them. They live here in LA and then of course I invited some of my friends, my closer friends, but this event is mainly for like getting to know new creators and um, I've been a part of this industry for a really long time and so also like if they have any questions, you know, I have brands with brand deals, everything that is a part of being a content creator, I want them to be able to ask me and it's a cute way to connect with new people and so this is me putting myself out there, getting out of my comfort zone. I already talked a little bit about this on IG story so I won't go too deep but um... This is part of my New Year's resolution and like trying new things, meeting new people, putting myself out there a little more. And um, you guys are so supportive of it. So thank you. Ty is going to be your vlogger of the day. I am. The thing is, I would, vlog, I would vlog it, but we both know. That ain't going to work. I'll get you so got, tied up in there. You got too much mingling to do. I got a lot of mingling to do and then I'll forget and then there won't be a vlog. So I was like, Ty, you're the vlogger of the day. Yeah. My dress today is from my boutique, Nudie Patootie. Wow. Super cute. And then my girl Rachel did my hair this morning. I started getting ready. I started. I did my full face of makeup at 6 a.m. And then Rachel was doing my hair. It's almost 11. <gasps> it's about to start. So are you going to be fashionably late to this or are we going to go in at 11? What's the plan? Well, I think it's L CP. If people run on LA time, they'll get there at 12, 1230. Yeah, but we had to be early because we had stuff to drop off for the goodie bags. Yeah, we had to drop off all the goodie bag stuff. So, so. now we got to figure out what we're going to do for the next half hour. We're going in soon. Thank you for having me. Of course. Oh, oh. So far, so far. Thank you.
Wow. That was a great event. I just took down my hair or took it out. <laughs> so I can't not quit laughing at me. Look at this. <laughs> Stop. Oh my God. Cause this part's like so hard. I'm about to go take a shower. Tyler, look at that. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> like that is shocking. <laughs> Anyways, the sun's going down. I'm so tired. We got back from the event at like four o'clock and I just ate for the first time today. What is my issue? I get bad nerves. She gets nerves and she can't eat. And now I like ate so much yummy Greek food. But anyways, today was amazing. I'm so, so pleased and just grateful for the out turn and how many people showed up and supported the Galentine's Day event and hopefully they left feeling motivated and inspired. But anyways, I love you guys. I'm going to pick up the vlog probably tomorrow. Hello everybody. Happy Friday. This hat looks so crazy on me, dorky on me like this, but like this, it's like better maybe. It's not better. Okay. Anyway, so yesterday was super crazy, super busy. So we ended up not vlogging. I went on a hike with Melissa Alator. We stopped by a friend's house, said hello. And then I had to go all the way into like Melrose to get my lip filler dissolved. I got my lip filler dissolved yesterday. It is a task I have been wanting to do for years. And I put it off because of how excruciatingly painful and like black and blue you're gonna be and like how horrible it is. So I put it off for years because I didn't want to go through doing that. I was also, I had a very small top lip. I don't have any lip filler I never have in my bottom lip ever. I always had a bit of a bigger bottom lip. And my top lip before, I'll try to insert a picture of me to see my top lip without filler. But um, I thought my lip would go back to that once I got it dissolved and I really didn't like that. So I didn't want to get it dissolved. But what I didn't realize is that like a lot of that's not true. So I wasted a lot of time not getting my lip filler dissolved when I should have. Let's talk about lip filler for a second. I'm gonna give you the 411 on it. I am very, very, very conservative with fillers. I don't want it to look like I've had filler, but you know, so I don't get a lot. So I got about seven years ago, I got half a syringe put in my lip and it probably made my lip look like it does right now, which kind of evened out my top lip with my bottom lip. And that way, whenever I'm not wearing makeup, it doesn't look like I have lip filler. And then whenever I do wear makeup, I overline the filled lip to give it a plumper look. Um, but I look natural without makeup. And like, that was my goal. After about three years of that, maybe two years, it had gone down so fast because it was my first time getting it. And your body will metabolize it. I got Juvederm. So I got another half syringe put in about four to five years ago. Um, so I did another half syringe and my lip, again, filled back up and looked about like it did now. So it was like maintaining, but that round of lip filler, it migrated. So I feel like this is something not talked about enough in the cosmetics world, that when you're getting lip filler, all the things that can and probably will happen. Um, and so I'm gonna talk about it because I wanna educate people before they get lip filler on what the real experience is and what you need to be asking questions and thinking about before you do it. So I got Juvederm in my lips. Juvederm, I love it. It's good for your face, but for your lips, it's known for migrating. And migrating means moving around, moving out of the lips. So you can see right here, do you see the shadowing right here? It's not as much on this side. That is lip filler up here, where it has moved from here to up here. So I had a really puffy upper lip and it's pretty common for it to migrate because look how much you move your mouth so it's eventually going to cause it to move they say lip filler dissolves and goes away in about a year that's not true they have found juvederm in people's face after 10 years mine is five years old and still in my upper lip plenty of it i knew i had to get it removed so when i went there to get it removed and got the consult they said well Anyone who's getting lip filler or putting fillers in their lips, after about three years, you need to get that stuff dissolved anyways and get it refreshed. You shouldn't just leave it there. So there's a note you should know before you get it. The dissolve it. So how they dissolve it is they have a solution. They inject into your lip and it turns the filler into water and then it just, after a few days, is gone. So how they do it is they put a needle. Can you see that poke mark right there? And I think right there. They put a needle 
in it's filled with lidocaine so i was numbed not every place will numb and if they don't numb it's equivalent to putting acid in your mouth and it is excruciating painful you guys can watch karen's video on it she got hers removed and she did not get it numbed i think at the time they just didn't have lidocaine solution mix in so that just wasn't really an option now it is so you might want to check with the place if you want to get it dissolved and make sure they have lidocaine numbing within their product because it's probably one of the least aggressive things i've ever done painless and probably took about one minute to do my whole upper lip so easy peasy i was so scared so anyways they put the needle in here and they push the needle all the way to the cupid's bow dripping in the solution and then they do the same thing on this side to the cupid's bow solution and then you're typically swollen i'll insert a picture of me literally leaving my appointment how swollen i was right here the good news is you can probably see a little bit of black and blue through here that's my bruising my bruising is so, you see that like darkness right there? My bruising is so minimal compared to what I thought it was gonna be. She said she used a cannula, cannula needle, which helps cause less bruising. And yeah, it's gone. I think I have a little bit more like, do you see that right in there? This side is looking 100%. And my lips are all back to what they were before. So I'm going to use a different type of filler. Um, I'll have to put it on the screen. Because see, I can't remember the names. And I don't want to say a name incorrectly when talking about something like this. So I'm going to put the name of the filler. I'm going to try out again to get it touched up. I'll probably get half a syringe or less in my lip. And then let that be. But I go back in two weeks. So it's a two-week downtime. So you'll get it dissolved. Wait two weeks. Go back a lot of times you have to do depending on how much fillers in your lips i didn't have much at all so i'll probably be able to go fill them in two weeks but if you don't you'll have to do another round of dissolvent after that i know people who have had to do six rounds of dissolvent because of the amount of filler and it just not dissolving so it's kind of a tedious task if you get numbing it's a super quick experience if you don't it's going to be painful but luckily it's pretty much only painful while you're getting it injected and then after that you're not sore or anything oh cosmetics guys but um yeah i'm really happy the way my lips look uh they pretty much look the same <laughs> as they did because all my filler was in my upper lip no longer in my lips and i can't wait to get it fixed i'm so happy i did this but i just thought i would let you guys know what getting lip filler is really like and all the shit they don't tell you i would never get juvederm i don't think in my lips ever again however maybe in other areas of the face where you're not moving it as much juvederm would be beautiful for it. it's a great filler it just migrates really badly in the lip area so that's the 411 on that <sighs> so for today i'm waiting on benefit they're supposed to show up at my house but i have a nail appointment so at like the exact same time so i'm like because they're running benefits running late and then my nail appointment so it's like oh my god <laughs> i'm like panicking right now because i'm gonna be late to my nail appointment they're supposed to be here at 11 45 and they're like we're gonna be there at 12 45 my nail appointment's at one and i'm like i don't know what i'm gonna do so i'm panicking right now and I thought I would tell you about my experience yesterday, but looking pretty good today. Not much bruising. Like you can barely tell I'm bruised. You honestly wouldn't really even know I'm bruised unless I told you I feel. And the bruising might get a little deeper, but that's okay. I did it um, this, I did it on Thursday because I didn't have anything to attend on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Like I cleared out my weekend. I was like, we're just gonna, we're gonna have a messed up lip kind of weekend. But now I have a peaceful lip. Uh, a peaceful lip. I have a peaceful lip and a peaceful weekend without have to worry about my lips. So, yay! Hey, oh my so let's boing, baby. This is for you, baby. Oh my yes, gosh! Yes, a little gift thank for you. you. You're and so listen, beautiful. Thank you so much. Don't lie to me. No, I would never me. lie with you. But listen, lady. we've got 30 shades of the Cakeless Conceal. You better come so check it out. you're not shady. Come check it out. This let's is for boing, shady. baby. Oh my gosh. Whoa, Benefit is out here. I'm back at the same spot and it's a new day but hear me out me and ty went on a date last night we got k barbecues my favorite and i brought my vlog camera to vlog and i'll insert how much footage i got before the memory card filled up date night so that was my vlog because my memory card filled up so i didn't get to vlog that but it's saturday and i'm in my beauty room that's why i'm in the same spot because we are about to tackle this I kind of want to clear the whole desk off and like start fresh and I just need to pick up this. Also, I was going to vlog this last night, 
but I got carried away. I washed so many makeup brushes. I have some like staining up in here. This is my LL Beauty sponge. It came pretty clean. This is my favorite sponge ever. I made it. I literally created it myself. Um, and we don't have a lot of these left. These are almost sold out. These did really well for us. People, we got really good feedback on these. But um, yeah, I washed all my brushes because I filmed a drugstore trying out new products. Here's the aftermath of that. If you didn't see it, I'll link it down below. Check it out. But I got a few questions like, why didn't I use my brushes for every part of the look? And I did it because they were so dirty, especially specifically the eye brushes. So I washed, here's my brushes where I washed them because I was like, oh my God. And then this was my first set of brushes, which is no longer available, but I still love them. So I had to wash those too and everything. So I just, I just went crazy randomly and it was like 10 o'clock at night. And I was like, ah, I'm washing brushes. But today I just really want to clear this bad boy off. And Benefit came by, as you guys heard about yesterday, and they dropped off. This is their new concealer right here. Okay, there it goes. Oh my gosh, I would not focus on this concealer. Anyways, this is the new one. So they told me this one is a little more sheer, a little more thin, a little more lightweight um, than their first one. So this is gonna be their serum concealer. And then this is the one that they had, the thicker one. So it's the cakey one. And then this one is the lighter one. So this one's new, they have 30 shades, check it out. That's what they dropped off yesterday, but I'm about to clear all this off. My background's looking so cute because these flowers, but now they're dying from my Galen Times event. I took these home to put in the background. There's my hair, and then I have a lighter here because that's my candle stash, and I like to light a candle, so I'm probably gonna light one before we start cleaning. Okay, this is my progress made. Pretty good, but now I wanna clear all of this off and kinda go through everything so it's not so cluttered. Also, I'm gonna do a good wipe down. There's always makeup everywhere, and I'm gonna give a shout out to these if you haven't seen them yet. I talk about these in my drugstore video I just posted, as well as try them all on and show you how I wear them with brown lip liner towards the end of the video when I finish my look. But these are three brand new shades of liquid lipsticks. This is bad lighting, let me show you. Ooh, there you go. The middle is spicy pink, and then we have old rose, and then we have blushing. I'm gonna swatch them for you. But they're available now on laurelilosangeles.com, and they're three for 32 or 16 each, so pretty good prices there. But these three nude shades are so beautiful. I will show you them now. Okay, these are them that when they're not dry down, you have to give these a little bit of time. They don't dry down instantly, and that's because you're gonna have movability, but they are kiss proof. So they're not gonna get really dry and cracky. It just takes a little bit long, longer for them to dry down. So the first one is our most popular out of the three shades. It's called Old Rose. It's a mauve brown nude. It's so perfect, complements a lot of skin tones. Then we have Blushing. This is the lightest one out of the three. I always wear all three of these with my lips line with a brown liner. Check that video to see how but this is blushing it is a lighter peachy nude but I will tell you as it dries down it gets a little darker than this and then we have spicy pink which is a warm spicy nude so it almost has like a little bit of salmon color to it but very faintly so these are them they are so freaking pretty they all complement each other and I often mix these two together so I'm gonna let them dry and then I'll show you them again Okay, here are the colors dried down. So do you see how they deepen up a little bit once they're dried down? Like this is not a bright peach nude. It's actually like a pretty neutral pink nude. And then this one is a bit brown in it. And then this one is like a beautiful spicy pink, but it's also a little mauve-y. So these are really easy to wear, really easy to pair up. And I love them, so check them out. Okay, now I have to show you guys this. These makeup wipes, um, these were sent to me in PR, but... They are so heavy duty. Like I cannot use them to clean up a look because they have heavy grease in them, but my God, they will take makeup off. So whenever I have makeup on my desk, I just take one of these wipes and it works better than like a cleanser. It's crazy. I think that purple's on there for good. That's been on there for like a year <laughs> or so. But like all this makeup right here, it just takes it right off compared to like a Clorox wipe because it has that that all in this, honey. This is a trick for your makeup desk. I know some people frown upon using makeup wipes, but I will say, as far as taking my makeup off at night, I don't incorporate them. I just use 
my makeup erasers, which I've talked about a bunch already. Okay, we're making progress. Look how much stuff. I gotta clean up all this mess too, but yes. Have you ever seen this desk this clear? I don't think so, because I haven't. Oh my God, I almost fell. <gasps> Rude. Um, so the floor's a mess, but we cleaned up, we cleaned out. We are about to clean off now with some Windex, hashtag not sponsored, and wipe down this desk. So, shall we? My bottle is broken, I dropped it, and now it's like... Yuck! It. Oh, I need to close this closet door. Hold, please. Alrighty, we did it. We cleaned up this space. It looks so much better. This little guy is trying to roll away. So I just took out a ton of makeup over here and cleaned everything up. Desk looks good. Chair cleaned. A vacuum, so the rug is clean. Of course, we have a spot. That's why I went with like a rug with like different patterns on it because I felt like the dirtier I get it you can tell a little less <laughs> but anyway the background gorgeous we lit this candle i love it it's by boy smells it's very woodsy and spicy and then this is stuff i'm going to film with so i try to keep it over here but i went ahead and vacuumed the whole room and picked everything up but and then these are some of my lights that i use in phone stands that i use pretty much on the daily or when i'm creating content here i am i have a bra on it's from skims it kind of looks like i'm not wearing a top but this is it guys, this took up most of my Saturday. So, uh, this is where I'm gonna end the vlog so I can have time to edit it tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog, bye guys.